Today I'm going to check out a breakout board I got from IC Station. This allows you to use any old ATX computer power supply as a bench supply. And it gives you your standard voltages, 3.3, 5, 12 volts, and negative 12 volts. It's all fused, ready to mount in your own cabinet. Great way to make yourself a cheap power supply. So I got this little board from IC Station and what this one is, is it's the power supply breakout board that will allow you to use any old computer ATX type power supply. It'll give you 3.3 volts, plus 3.3, plus 5, plus 12, and negative 12 volt supplies. It's pretty simple. Everything's fused because there's no regulation or anything on here. That's all done by the computer power supply that you're going to uh, donate to operate this and it's pretty simple you just plug it in this is an old computer power supply that was given to me I think the fan might be foo barred on it but just the one connector plug it in we'll give this thing power And we have a power switch on the board so you could mount this into a metal box it's got the the uh, mounting studs or mounting holes to put onto mounting studs drill your holes it's got your standard binding post type connections and we can control the power of the computer power supply by just turning on the power switch oh fan is working on this one I was told it wasn't working. But the power supply does work. If we measure the voltages here, they're all labeled 3.3 volts, 3.6 under no load. The 5 volt supply, oh, my battery is weak on my, uh, on my meter, so that's why the voltages are probably reading a little bit high. I can see that the battery indicator is on here. 12 volt supply, you know, 13.6, and the negative 12 volt supply is negative 12.4. Let me change the battery on my fluke and see if I can get the uh, accuracy a little better. Got a new battery here, a reactor. This is a real fluke meter, made in USA. So let's ch change out the battery. New battery goes in a positive terminal, like that. It has a polarity indication here. So we drop the new battery into the into the base and just snap it together. There's not much to these meters. And that should turn out the battery indicator, which it did. So let me just put the screws back into this and then we'll test the voltages again and I'm sure my voltages will be a little bit more accurate because I know that that's, a, that's an issue with, uh, with most meters is that once the battery voltage drops you get an inaccurate reading. Just test the voltage first of all on the dead battery. See how weak that battery was. Yeah, 5.7. It's dead. Power on. That's a little better. Oh, try it. Help if I put the leads in the right polarity. 3.3 volts. Dead on. 5.1 volts. Dead on. 12.3 volts. Close enough. Minus 11.1. Again, close enough. Let's uh, do some real world loading on this. Okay, I have a 55 watt halogen bulb. I'm not even going to try it on the 3.3 because I, I think it'll probably shut it down, but we'll try it on the 5 volt uh, supply. We should get some light out of this, which we do. Not very bright. We go to the 12 volt supply. It's uh, full brightness. The negative 12 volt supply is going to shut it down because 
Uh, this power supply only has, I think it's a half an amp. It's got 30 amps on the 5 volt and 18 amps on the 12 volt rail. Uh, but the uh, negative 12 only has a capability of a half an amp. So if I try this, it's probably going to shut it down. Yep, it did. Power supply stop. The fan stopped spinning. As you can see, the light goes out. So if you overload your power supply, just turn it off, turn it back on, and it'll come back on again. But that's, uh, I mean, there's not a heck of a lot to show off on this thing. But, you know, if you're looking for a cheap bench power supply, and all you really need is 3.3, 5, and 12 volts, maybe a negative 12, this little adapter board here that comes from IC Station will allow you to utilize an old ATX type power supply and put it to use after you've recycled the tower that it came out of. And that's what that's how I got this was. It was given to me, um, a friend of mine gave it to me. He said it didn't work, but uh, I think he just was overloading it. Needed a bigger power supply for his computer and uh, was cleaning out his shed and handed it off to me. This is only a 500 watt power supply. And I think he said he went to like a 650. Um, it's too low for me because my my uh, desktop computer I think I've got a 750 in my power in my desktop computer for all my editing gear but anyway that's how you can utilize an old power supply one of these little breakout boards and you don't have to start cutting wires and figuring out what is what and uh, get your power switch right there to control the power you can see the fan starting to spin here pretty simple uh, device link to it is in the page not much more to say because hey, it's just got your four outputs and it's fused. Thanks for watching.